Look at this mouth-watering, all gratin style beef and potato casserole. This is what's for dinner tonight. So before I started the ketogenic diet, one of my quick and easy recipes was basically peeling some potatoes, slicing them up, layering them in crema mushroom with beef and seasoning. It was one of my quick and easy go-to meals. So today, I'm gonna substitute some things in and we're gonna make beef au gratin potato style casserole. So the first thing you're gonna need are chayote. You've probably seen these used in apple pies or french fries, but today we're gonna use these to substitute our potatoes. We're gonna go ahead and get these peeled and sliced up. So if you've never used chayote before, you'll find when you start to peel this, it is very, very sticky. So just be prepared for that. So I'll go ahead and get these peeled real fast. Once you've got that cut, go ahead and square this off like that. Cut along here. And then what I do is basically wedge this out. So cut down one side, cut down the other side, pop that out. Now we're ready. Now that these are peeled, I'm gonna go ahead and slice them up. Now I like to use a mandolin for slicing these up. The squash is actually pretty hard, so this works very well. Plus, you want very even, consistent pieces for this recipe. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and get these cut up. Now that I got these diced, I'll soak these while I work on my cream gravy. So the first thing will be four tablespoons butter. We'll warm our butter in the microwave till it just starts to melt. We'll go ahead and add that in. Next, we'll add one third cup heavy whipping cream. And last, we'll add eight ounces of cream cheese. Go ahead and chop this up just a little bit with your spatula first to get it broke up and mixed a little bit. Then start your mixer out on slow. Once you've got that mixed in good, you're gonna add water until you reach the consistency of cream of mushroom soup. Seasoning varies. It's also gonna depend on what you have in your ground beef. I pre-cook my ground beef. I'll pre-cook five pounds at a time, and it's always salted with a little bit of pepper so that it can mix in with almost any dish that I want. So I'll just add in a teaspoon at a time until I reach my desired plate. One tablespoon took it just to where I like it. Now take a casserole dish or whatever you want to place it in and start layering this. Now the first thing you want to do is take some of your mixture, place it on the base of your pan to prevent any sticking. So we'll go ahead and put a little bit of that on the bottom. You don't need a massive amount, just enough to coat this bottom. Once this bottom is good and coated, we'll go ahead and take the chayote and what you need to do with this is, even though we cut it, there is an inside seed that you can actually take and just do this and break it right out. Go ahead and remove the center seed and discard it. So we'll go ahead and just start layering this down. Once you've got a layer of that down, you're gonna go ahead and add a layer of meat. So we'll just sprinkle some meat along here like this. And depending on how many layers high you're gonna go and how much protein you want, if you're a higher protein, load it up with beef. Now we'll just add another layer of our cream sauce. Now if you wanted to add cheese to this, you can. We'll add more carbs. Cover it with aluminum foil. Place it in the oven at 350 for 40 to 45 minutes. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Do me a huge favor, share this video, like this video. Go ahead and click that subscribe, comment below. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.